812 on your Wednesday morning. Welcome back, everyone. Now, heart disease is the number one killer of women in this country, and heart attacks can come without warning at all. Katie McGee has a story of one woman whose life was changed in an instant. What her experience can teach us all. Shake it up! Zumba instructor Debbie Ann Schneider has always tried to lead a healthy life, which is why an incident in 2005 stopped her in her tracks. I had been exercising and then um, I took a shower and after I stepped out of the shower I had a wave of nausea and I was like, oh, that's really odd. Then I couldn't take a full breath. Also felt that like I had a discomfort across my back. Schneider was having a heart attack, even though she'd never had a symptom. Dr. Nisa Goldberg says it's not uncommon. Two thirds of the women who have their first heart attack have no warning sign at all. According to the American Heart Association, more than one in three adult women in the U.S. have some form of cardiovascular disease. But what exactly is it? Heart disease is a very broad term, and what it refers to is diseases of the heart muscle, the arteries that supply the heart muscle, and what's going on inside the heart. The leading killer is the heart disease that's caused by clogged arteries known as coronary artery disease. That leads to heart attacks. Among the leading risk factors, high cholesterol, diabetes, smoking, high blood pressure, and lack of exercise. But studies have shown genetics can play a part, too. If your mother was less than 60 or your dad was less than 50 when they had their heart symptoms, all increase risk for heart disease. While women may experience the traditional chest pain during a heart attack, Dr. Goldberg says, like Schneider, they may also suffer shortness of breath, exhaustion, or a feeling similar to indigestion. You can have heart attack-like symptoms for as much as six weeks before the heart attack. To keep your heart healthy, Dr. Goldberg suggests sticking to a well-balanced diet, quit smoking, and get moving. Uh, physical activity is a foundation to a heart disease prevention program. Which is exactly what Schneider chose to do. You gotta listen to that voice that you have inside of you. If you feel it, you really, you really need to go and get it checked out. While most women are likely to notice the first symptoms of heart disease 10 years after menopause, depending on your risk factors, they can actually start to develop in your late teens and early 20s. And I just have to tell you about Debbie Ann Schneider. 2005, she was a vegetarian, she exercised, but when this happened, she completely changed her life. She left her high-stress job in publishing, she works at the gym now, and she said that if one woman can learn anything from what she's been through, then this entire experience has been worth it. Wow. Yeah. And that's what we were saying. Yeah. You can be healthy, you can work out, you can eat right, but you can still be a victim. Yeah. You just have to be so careful and pay attention to those warning signs. Listen yeah. to your body. Both mm -hmm. she and Dr. Goldberg said that's one of the most important things that women can do. Well, Listen. Katie, what should women do if they think they're having a heart attack? If you think you're having a heart attack, Dr. Goldberg has two suggestions. Number one, chew an uncoated aspirin. One uncoated aspirin, it will work faster, and as soon as you do that, Dial 911. Right. Why is it different for men and women? Why are the symptoms so, symptoms so different? I asked that question to Dr. Goldberg, and I was shocked by her answer. They simply don't know. They do not wow. know. They, Dr. Goldberg said it could be something as simple as the way men and women experience pain, but mm -hmm. she said a lot of research is underway right now to figure out the physiological differences between a heart attack and men and women, taking a look at how drugs affect men and women differently for heart disease. She said, you know, if we sit down in five years, it may be a whole different mm. story, but they don't know. Wow. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, right, thanks, thanks for that, Katie. Yeah. Well, take it from me. A new season doesn't always mean having to shop for new clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Alex, what? Yeah, really? <laughs> Alex Dennis is live on the mobile couch with a fashionable find in the meatpacking district. Hi, Alex.